Hello students today we are going to start a new lesson but before starting the lesson i would like to know how many of you people are kind of attached with trees you know trees are we all know those are living things um but they do not talk or walk or move from one place to another but they also have lives and they also have emotions though they are not visible but they too have emotions so um many of us have seen big trees in our home and i guess you people are also quite attached with such trees because the trees also grow with you once when you start growing along with you a plant also starts growing to be a big tree some day and when the tree which has been living with you for so many years is suddenly cut down i'm sure you also feel your emotions get shattered with with the tree isn't it so um the poem which i'm going to start today gives us a description of how the emotions of a person is attached with a banyan tree and the poem also is um compared with the description of slaughter of an animal with the chopping of a tree okay so the name of the poem which we are going to start today is felling of the banyan tree by dilip chitre this is the third lesson of our english book this poem is a free verse so by free verse what do you mean free verse means a poem which is not rhyming and it is written in all free verse that is no punctuations are used in the middle of the poem so it might not give you a poetic feeling but it is a poem so let us start you just see match with me along with your book my father told the tenants to leave who lived on the houses surrounding our house on the hill one by one the structures were demolished only our own house remained and the trees trees are sacred my grandmother used to say feeling them is a crime but he massacred them all the shioga the audumber the neem were all cut down but the huge banyan tree stood like a problem whose roots lay deeper than all our lives my father ordered it to be removed the banyan tree was three times as tall as our house its trunk had a circumference of 50 feet its craggy aerial roots fell to the ground from 30 feet or more so first they cut the branches sawing them off for seven days and the heap was huge insects and birds began to leave the tree and then they came to its massive trunk 50 men with axes chopped and chopped the great tree revealed its rings of 200 years we watched in terror and fascination this slaughter as a raw mythology revealed to us its age soon afterwards we left baroda for bombay where there are no trees except the one which grows and seethes in one's dream its aerial roots looking for the ground to strike you see i have read the poem you also read the poem and just by giving a reading you will get the feel of the poem you see the meanings are also given at the side of the pages but before um, explaining the poem let us read about the poet the person who has composed the beautiful poem so let's see about the poet page 27 dilip chitre 1938 to 2009 was one of the most important poets in post independence india he wrote in marathi and english some of his best known works include a translation of the poems of the marathi bhakti poet sant tukaram and the poetry collections sisha and as is varies He received the Sahitya Akademi Award for his collection of Marathi poems in 1994. Students, before starting a lesson, we always should know the background of the lesson and 
we should also know something about the poet and the writer who has composed the piece because this gives us the uh, feel the background of the story or poem which we are going to read okay so um, it's better if you go through the poem by your own again and again and you will understand and before my explanation if you get if you develop a kind of understanding of the poem this will help you in a better way so let's jump to page 26 again you see the word banyan comes from the sanskrit word vanija meaning merchant early foreign traders mention indian merchants doing business under this tree the word has since passed to into english to refer to the tree itself you see the name of the tree itself is the meaning of the tree and it is a word that has derived from sanskrit so sanskrit is so rich you see we have derived so many words from this rich language um in our next video i will explain the poem line by line so that it gets clearer to you and we'll also do the, the next part